Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a quick video response to uh, a question I was left in my last video about um, the monthly musing. So uh, it's from a guy called Joseph uh, Pendragon and he is uh, very keen to get started in historical games. Uh, I know where he is. Um, I was like, I was, I was in the same sort of uh, dilemma uh, many years ago. Well, not many years ago, a few years ago. Uh, <clears throat> having really only lived in the Warhammer uh, Games Workshop worlds of uh, you know, fantasy and uh, 40k and whatnot, and I didn't, and, and, and I found getting into historical wargaming and historical figures and that sort of stuff uh, a bit daunting. Because when you look at it and you see all the stuff in the magazines, and things, you think, bloody hell, there's loads and loads and loads. You need, you need hundreds of miniatures and you need massive tables and complicated rules. And it was all a bit daunting. And um, I felt a bit crushed by uh, trying to find out as much knowledge as I could. So I asked, uh, just like Joseph has done, and I got loads and loads of feedback from people on YouTube and um, the blogs and all sorts of stuff. Uh, so I think it's only fair to return the favour. Um, right then. Now Yosef wants to look at uh, stuff like uh, Dark Ages, you know, Vikings and things. Uh, Hundred Years War. Who doesn't? Because it's lovely and pageantry and loads of colours and everything. And um, Napoleonics. Well, do you know what I mean? People got taste, haven't they? So, right, <clears throat> what to do? Well, start from the Napoleonics first. Now, he wants to be able to play uh, games that don't have many figures, which I can appreciate and understand, and you can play with your mates, so you need to sort of uh, be able to get to grips with those fairly quickly, and uh, they have to be fairly simple. So, I'd start off, personally, uh, with um, the Ganesh games, uh, Song, Song of Drums and Shakos, and the Song of Series is quite good um, from the point of view of figure counts. You can't go mad. Um, I think you can do large scale Song of stuff as well, but the original rule set's quite uh, good. And it's dead cheap as well to buy. You can get it as PDF or you can buy it from uh, uh, one, of these, one of these print and demand sites. I think it's, is it Lulu or something like that? I don't know. <clears throat> but um, I got a copy, it cost me about £5, I think, uh, when I bought it. Uh, so I put a link into Ganesh Games, and you can go and have a look at their stuff. I put a link direct into Songs of Drums and Shakos, but have a look round their site. They've got loads of different rule sets, uh, loads of different things from uh, science fiction to role play to all sorts of stuff, and they're fairly fairly cheap. And um, it's well worth having a hunt around their site just to have a look and see what's what's out there, because uh, you might spot something. They've got some good ancients rules as well. So anyway. Uh, not that I've got them, but I've read about them and stuff, and they look pretty interesting, and I'm always in, interested in finding interesting rules. Um, the next one, Napoleonic again, is Two Fat Lardies, uh, Sharp Practice. Now, I've never played this, I've never seen it in, in the flesh, as it were, but loads of people rave about it, so um, it's well worth a look at, because it might be your cup of tea, I don't know. Um, so I'll put a link into the Two Fat Lardies um, stuff, Sharp Practice, and um, there's tons. Just search, search for Sharp Practice, Two Fat Lardies on YouTube, and you'll find tons of information about it. Even on the web, there's loads of blogs and all sorts about it, so it's well worth having a look. Um, for your sort of large-scale but low miniature count games, uh, especially 100 Years War, um, even Vikings and Napoleonics as well, but... Uh, I'll, I'll expand on that in a bit. You can look at uh, DBA or De, I can never say it, De Bellis De Antiquitas. Um, now that's a very very abstract game, but you only need uh, twelve bases of miniatures per side, and it's played on a very small board. And it's three foot by three foot, um, and you can play a game in an hour. It's very simple. It's, like I say, it's very abstract. Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, if you look at version 2 of the rule set, there's a lot of information. There's a good um, rundown of all of the um, the <coughs> game mechanics and all that sort of stuff uh, on... I can't, remember, I can't remember off the top of my head the name of the website, but if you search around for DBA2, um, you'll find a 
you'll find it references to the to the site the big PDF you can download that will sort of take you through the game uh, in a deconstructed way. Um, the reason it was designed was for tournaments originally. It was a sort of like a free game, a tournament convention thing, and it's grown and it, it's really good. The thing with DBA is, like I say, you only need twelve bases. Uh, the army lists, I think you can have 15 bases per army or something like that. You can choose different builds, uh, but you can play it really quickly. Um, and it, you don't need thousands of miniatures. I mean, I use uh, six six millimeter basically for mine, but uh, you can play it with 15 mil. I wouldn't go any higher than 15 mil, but uh, there you go. Miniatures you can get from uh, all over the place, 15 millimeter. Uh, Essex games, pretty good. Got a pretty good range, and they sell army packs. If you go to back a six millimeter, you can get army packs of DBA. It, it, do you know what I mean? It's like loads of loads and loads of uh, resources for it, and it's a it's a great little game, and it allows you to collect armies from all over history, right back from you know the darkest, deepest, longest time ago, right up until uh, the middle Middle Ages. And you can just there's tons of stuff. Um, obviously, the Napoleonic version is a bit different. And there's a different rule set for D I think it's called DBA DBN for Napoleonics. And you can also like play a larger scale version, which is DBM. Um, but you're not interested in that, you want a quick start play. In a similar vein to DBA, there's a uh, rule set called Impetus. Now, Impetus is free uh, in its in its in its basic version. Um, so you can go and download Impetus, and it's a similar sort of um, Similar sort of thing. Search YouTube for Impetus. There's loads and loads and loads of um, videos about Impetus, and it's really, really straightforward to play. Um, and you don't need that many figures. I think you need. That. I think you need less than you do for uh, DBA, to be honest. At 15 millimeter or 10 millimeter or six millimeter. Um, so have a look at that if if if, if that floats your boat. But it gives you the opportunity to play large scale games. You know, big troop games rather than you know, 10 15 minutes that was what oh yes i forgot i meant to say the things like song of drums and shakos you're only looking at like 11 to 15 minutes per side so that, that's quite that's quite good um what else right there's something that has been brought to my attention british legion bought it the other day it's a game called blood eagle and it's from the um ministry of gentlemen warfare now it's currently there's an article in this month's War Games Illustrated about it, which I'm going to be getting the article anyway. I'm going to get War Games Illustrated on Friday when I go into Manchester, uh, mainly because it's got the uh, Roman uh, thing, and <clears throat> it's about it's to do with this this uh, collectible figure that we got the other the other month, uh, which we're going to be doing a paint a day on uh, in September, I think. But um, yeah, that looks an interesting game. Uh, it's a skirmish game for Dark Age medieval times. It layers. Uh, you can play it as a pure historic game. You can mix in uh, mythology with it, so you can fight trolls and uh, whatever uh, <laughs> that existed in the Dark Ages. Uh, so there's like that sort of like magic ethos of the mysterious Dark Ages of the druids and priests and all sorts of stuff. I thought, druids? Well, you know what I mean. Um, so you can, like I say, you can play as a as a standalone historic game, or you can add all of this sort of like mythos of dragons and things or magic or whatever later on. But you don't have to, if you know what I mean. Which leads me on to Saga. Saga is another Dark Age skirmish game. Um, I think I don't know much about Saga. It's not something that's really ever uh, come up on my radar. But a lot of people people rave about it. Um, so I have a look at Saga. Um, it's. I think in its first game, it first version, it was it was basically a, a medieval, a, a dark age skirmishes game, but but they introduced magic into that as well for the second version, and um, I'm not too certain about it. So, but once again, you don't need many miniatures for that. Um, there are probably quite a few dark age skirmish rules. Um, like I say, people who are watching this who know uh, more about this comments in below so Yusuf can have a look um, and then the only other advice that I can offer you is if you get something like this which is the Henry Hyde's War Games Compendium 
Now, Henry Hyde is the editor of Battle Games, um, which um, they merged with another thing. I only know it by looking at the cover. I can never remember the bloody title of the, of the magazine, but it's not War Games. It's uh, War Gaming and Battle Games, I think it's called, the magazine. And he's the editor, but he's, he's dead knowledgeable about everything, and he's got a brilliant blog that's uh, got tons and tons of resources and information on. I'll put a link into Henry's blog. And it, but this book is brilliant. It gives you a good, rounded sort of view of tabletop wargaming from a non-GW perspective, basically. It's got a couple of sets of rules in it. It's all colour-coded, and it's just great. It's a great book. It's, it's a nice book to have uh, and, and to dip into. It gives you lots and lots of information about the history of wargaming, uh, the sorts of wargaming, various rules, um, all sorts of stuff, and it's really, really good. So, have a look at that. Um, it's a bit pricey. I think it's about, it's, I don't know, I can't remember. I got this as a present off my wife a few years ago. Uh, and um, it's looking a bit dog eared and tatty now, but it is a good game. Like I say, there's, there's some rules in there. There's uh, horse and musket rules, there's campaign rules, um, all sorts of information and, and where to get resources from. Some of them are a bit out of date now, but if you go to Henry's blog, he keeps it up to date. He keeps all the lists up to date, so you, you know you can um, kind of look. He's putting a new book out about campaigning, solo campaigning, or ca operating the campaign this year, which uh, I'm going to be getting because it's uh, it looks really good. Because he's he's a big um, sort of uh, advocate of imaginations, um, and I really like his stuff. But anyway, I'm going to go off into a ramble now about how good Henry Hyde is, um, but uh, I'll tail it there anyway so i hope that answers your question yusuf and to everybody else that's managed to get this far in the video any advice or whatever uh, i'll put a link in in the thing to yusuf's youtube account but i don't think you can message him i don't know how uh i don't know how you can get in touch with him but um i'm sure if we put the comments in and any hints tips and advice i'd be more than welcome so Hope that's helped you, um, or anybody else that's interested in getting into historic games. Um, what more can you say? Oh yes, my wargaming life. Go and uh, go and sign up at my wargaming life and uh, get involved in the community there. Uh, I'm sure there's loads of people with plenty of advice and uh, knowledge that can share their their vast array of uh, information with you. Um, and yeah, get involved in the community. Uh, Go and jump around all the channels. Um, on my channel, there's suggested channels. Um, I don't know which way the screen will be, but there's like a list of channels that go have a look at. Um, all sorts of stuff. Um, that's about it, really. Hope that's helped. And um, keep on hobbying. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>